Incredible. Wait, less than 60 seconds until that plunger is pushed on those cooling towers. Let's go to News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott, who's right there where it's happening. Jim. I'm right here. I'm standing here where they're getting ready to plunge the plunger, which is going to set off the explosion here. That's going to be done by a Brian Mann. It was a charity event that the family gave on this. So once they do that, these iconic uh, cooling towers are going to be coming down at that point. So we're standing by waiting for that. We're hearing some of the sirens coming up. One minute now is what we had just heard from the, uh, the officials here as they're going to do that. It won't happen immediately once he hits that plunger, but there are 15, you can see from Sky 4, the towers that are up there at this point uh, that are going to come down. Take a good look because in less than a minute, they're not going to be here anymore. Once the dynamite that it's set inside there goes off, it's only going to take about 12 seconds for them to come down. So at this point, we're standing by to see exactly what happened. Safety precautions have been taken at this point with that dynamite set. As you said, both of these towers are going to come down at the same time. What will happen is one side will be blown out on each of them and they will collapse down on each other. 1,500 pounds. Here we go. We can watch the plunger go down shortly. We're going to see that happen. They're going to be giving a countdown shortly. Here we go. Now to the top. That was one of the most incredible things that I've seen. It happened so quickly, they came down so fast. It obviously, they hit their mark. The cloud of dust is out there now that's going to be uh, coming this way. So I want to talk to you now. They had planned this for months, getting this down. People stood here in amazement, watching as that imploded. It was just incredible to see that. As you saw, they came down right on each other, scheduled what they had hoped to see on that. I think people were standing here stunned watching just how fast that that happened. Uh, there's still a lot of smiles and just people standing around just can't believe. Now the real process begins and that's cleaning this up. Tons of concrete, tons of rebar that they're going to have to, to bring out from this and they're going to recycle. Get this, 99% of that of what we saw come down is going to be reused. We're gonna be seeing that implosion, I'm sure, as soon as we rack this up again for you. I know we saw this through Sky 4. We had lots of cameras out here as well. And when our producers tell us, uh, we're gonna watch this again to watch as this happened. Let's go and see what happens here as it goes down one more time. I mean, when you think about all of the planning that went into this for just less than 12 seconds to bring this down, it is incredible. But so far, it's been safe. Everything was good. I'm going to go to Scott Johnson now, who was in another area and watched this come down. Scott, what do you think? Jim, we were a little closer, and this was staggering to see. You felt the impact of the explosion, or implosion, I guess you could say, hit us. We're probably, I'm guessing, 300 yards or so from it. They're doing a real good job now of controlling the dust. They've been spraying water down there, and it's almost like a wall of dust is getting slowly closer to us, but they've been doing a real good job of controlling the dust so it doesn't spread too far. I see drones in the air right now. They had all cameras all over the area but they were right on time they said eight o'clock they gave us a two minute countdown then we counted down from five and immediately it was a 12 second explosion with 1500 pounds of dynamite i think roughly 100,000 pounds of tons excuse me 100,000 tons of concrete as well as tons of steel come down for what is now essentially an outdated plant, a plant that is no longer used by JEA as well as Florida Power and Light, the two agencies who use this plant starting in the 1980s. I talked to some JEA officials who say if you had told them years ago they would be doing this, they would not have believed you. It was a critical plant for all these years, but now they are tearing it down. By the way, this will not be the, first, the only implosion in the next coming months. They have another even taller tower. It's much narrower 
power. They will be bringing down in coming months as well as they uh, essentially tear out this whole north side generating station and see what they're going to do with the land because it's not really used anymore um, as far as for major power needs. So this is a big change for JEA, but this is something they've warned thousands of residents and businesses up here on the north side for days letting them know hey 8 a.m on a saturday you're going to hear something it's not a war it's not a bomb we're taking down our uh, north side generating stations so this has been just uh, something to see it reminded me kind of of covering a space shuttle when all the exhaust would come and blow us from a mile away well it was kind of the same ex experience when 1500 pounds of dynamite exploded all at once and you see these two mammoth uh, towers come down towers that appeared to people to look like nuclear generating stations that was often a con confusing point for people but they were coal-fired plant and they are controlling the um, the dust very well the dust is not spreading too far they had huge water sprayers that have been out here for hours to make sure that that dust does not really escape this property and so far that appears to be the case but a staggering sight to see on this Saturday morning guys Jim we going back to you we're going back to the studio Back to us, I believe, Scott. Hey, Alicia, Ashley, hey. we're gonna go back to you guys. Yes, Wasn't I, it staggering to see? Hope you're breathing oh okay out there. I know you said they're keeping the dust away, but man, from our view with Sky 4, it looks like the dust is everywhere. It does. What an impressive sight. And uh, Scott was saying it took 12 seconds, but it seemed like it was maybe three seconds. It did. It was so fast. It looked to me like the, the carpet was pulled out from underneath. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just, just just We're going to be showing that to you over and over today because I, I don't think you can get tired of looking at that. It's something we don't. It's something we don't see often. In and fact, that's let's why. take a look at yeah. it. Let's, let's, let's do see we it have again. The video? Yeah, uh, there it goes. Look. Wow. I mean, I mean, it, it's like it just melts. It doesn't look. Yes, I was going to say it does not look like it's made of concrete. It looks like. Well, the people who set that all up have to be delighted that it went so well. Because how disappointing would it be if one of them went down and the other didn't? Or that that just looked like it was a textbook implosion. But what do we know about implosions, right? Well, <laughs> it's not like you see them every I've day. I've never seen one in person, and you haven't either, correct? No. Mm -mm. Man, it's it's like so many people were out there, and I get it because it is so fascinating to see something like this, and it's such a rarity. Mm -hmm. But I guess, like they said, we're going to have another one coming up with JEA again, another building. And, and the reason why is it's more expensive to keep them up and running than it, I mean, than it is to just get rid of it. So JEA so. Um, hoping to lessen its carbon footprint. That, by 30%. That was one of the main reasons by, to bring it down. And because it was more expensive to, to keep them running than to get rid of them. 15 million per unit. So both of those 15 million, uh, per unit, again, that's the money that it costs to keep them going. So it just didn't outweigh. I mean, you might as well get rid of it and give us something to do on a Saturday morning. Uh, that's <laughs> Checking right. Checking video out. That's right. 1,500 pounds of dynamite it wow. took to bring that down. Really incredible. Total, total height of those towers, in case you're wondering, uh, 460 feet. Very tall. I mean, you could see them miles away really it seemed like because it's just a staple and it was such in such an empty area as you see there's not much around it so a lot of people uh, will always remember those towers we have Scott's point of view again yeah. too let's I bring believe that we up. have that shot um, oh here we go oh yes. okay let's watch this It was 12 seconds. I just counted. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I, just, I was just impressive. Um, but we were surprised when we initially went to Scott for his first live shot how it was all close he was to those towers. But he said they're doing a good job at keeping all the smoke and debris away from them. I guess bring I water. Wouldn't want to breathe that in. Yeah. So the people who are in charge of this, they've done this before. It's in their first rodeo. They know what to do to keep people safe. But it is incredible to see how close they were. Can you imagine you're driving along the Dames Point Bridge and you don't know what's going on and you All look over sudden. and see that? 
That would be um, yeah. You might you might want to go off the road a little bit. I think Thankfully, it'll be odd to drive the Dames Point <clears throat> Bridge now and and not, not see, see those it. cooling towers. I know it's a little sad. I'm I'm very sentimental and yes, I have no tie to these towers. No. But still, you know, when you see something like that, even some may have called them ugly, um, mm -hmm. ugly towers. But still, it's like oh, it did no, feel it's a never little bit of sadness yeah, when I, I saw like, that. It's, it's over. It's over. And people who used to work there. I don't know, it's a little, mm. yeah. Well, okay. a lot of people were employed to uh, bring those towers down. So um, we, we have some slow motion video. I know, we get, we're so excited Keep to watch this. <laughs> we're gonna show you some slow motion video in just a moment. Is it ready? Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. Because we cannot get enough of this. We can't. Look at, I mean, it really, it looks like just chocolate melting. It does. Ooh, <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> no, it yeah. really. <laughs> It does not look like concrete is all I can say. It's, it's almost like water on the inside too, how that smoke is just billowing up. Oh, it's so cool. It's we simple have, things in life. We're at watch parties. We've got this covered all over the place. So we, we will be talking a lot more about this, about Gym, people's reaction spot, to it, there, what yeah. it took to bring those towers down with such great success. Be sure to stay with us. Because News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is going to be joining us, and she was at the watch party, Actually, one of the many watch parties. with some parties. people. We're going to check in with her in about 30 minutes from now, see what she has to say. And of course, our coverage continues right now on NewsForJax.com. Of course, we're live streaming that, so if you have to break away from your TV, it's always online. Oh, look at this! Look oh at this my from gosh. Sky Four. Oh my goodness! This is a new vantage point for you from our helicopter, Sky Four. Wow, that just shows how huge this Joker was. I <laughs> mean, both of them. Look at them. I love that's this. Amazing. Oh, see, see the water in the right corner. So look, so that's yeah. See the water there. That's what's keeping that dust contained. Oh, that's so neat. All right, more of this on newsforjax.com.